every organisation needs smart technology to optimise their workplace and to make people like Darren feel welcome. I'm here to see Mr Cataclysmo. If you like to log in using Tios reception. With Tios Solutions, your visitors feel welcome and can sign in themselves. Find the location of their meeting for easy navigation. Keep employees and visitors informed with customizable signage. Find and book meeting rooms easily with an interactive touchscreen solution. Then take full control of your company's devices and content with TIOS Manage, allowing you to use data insights to optimize your workplace performance. Employees can also manage their meetings from anywhere using the TIOS app. Once Darren finds his meeting room, TIOS can make his life even simpler. Hello, I'm Darren. Thanks for taking the meeting with me. Uh, am I okay to plug in? Darren Scott, you do not need to plug in. Simply use TIOS Connect for seamless wireless connection. Get it with the 21st century, baby! With wireless connections, visitors like Darren can mirror content to displays easily, allowing for a seamless meeting experience. Is it dark in here? TIOS also lets you adjust room settings, such as lights and device controls. Darren, carry on. So, we've assessed your organisation and believe that we can... All of these solutions help Darren to be at his best and keep Mr Cataclysmo happy too. With TIOS by Sony, we save people time by making spaces perform for them. Streamlining your business meeting room, digital signage and AV workflow, whatever business you're in. Hi everyone, my name is Ray and I'm from BSAP Sony. So today I'd like to share a few two agendas. First is our reception area, the other is will be the wayfinder. But of course with me I have a reception which you might be surprised, 85 inch. <laughs> so uh, first of all just let me run down the solution, the features, the functions, how it actually works. So as a guest walk in, the collectively portions they will definitely need to sign in. So once they sign in, Enter the name which is standard. So I'm going to sign in right now using my name. Here we have two options. First option, I have appointment or I don't. So for my case, I do have appointment. So my appointment is with Goku Sun. So on the PIP portion, you're going to see that uh, the visitor has arrived. And from Goku Sun point of view, right, Goku Sun will actually receive an email notification saying that oh you know uh, this visitor has arrived he's waiting for you at a lobby so you may want to proceed of course on the second scenario i'm also going to show you that i do not have an appointment so if i do not have an appointment they are going to show you why and what is the reason for the visit so that will be the agenda portions so let me show you the second part which is sign in i do not have an appointment so I will be in another form. So I'm going to use stun. I'm going to have no appointment. So now they're going to ask for agenda. So the agenda for today will be Tios. Right. So register. So on these portions, right, uh, again, we are going to receive a notification email uh, from the the user to the host so the host will have a notification email so as you can see underneath uh, on the PIP portions I have actually made two notification email from Google so on the first portions uh, if you follow down here my cursor your visitor ring has arrived this is the first portion where I have an appointment so on the second portion it says the ring has arrived reason for the visit is yours very straightforward. So right now, my meeting is done. I wish to sign out. So I'm going to sign out. Of course, you can actually select the guest that's going to sign out. So in this case, Rain will be signing out. Straightforward. 
Of course, not forgetting another scenario, which is the courier service. So as a courier approaches, uh, you know, they might actually look for certain someone that they need to deliver their package to. So they just tap on it, the information will show up. So let's say I'm looking for David Wee. So David Wee, where can I search for? Service engineering, David Wee. So again, all of these can be customized depending on the template of the organization requirements, the needs, you also can input slogans and stuff. Right, so with ending for reception, I'm going to bring you to Wayfinder. So give me a moment, I'm going to switch to Wayfinder for these particular settings. So you have to bear with me for a while. So I have just toggled the TVs to Wayfinder. So right behind me, you're going to see Wayfinder map the floor plan directly appearing about now yes so uh, for the wayfinder portions uh, let me just refresh so we're going to see the location that you are on the floor plan so for wayfinder portions right the, the key main factor for wayfinder is that you will need to navigate yourself because you just passed the first stage of reception. So after you have signed in, you're going to navigate your way through the floor plan to the meeting room. So by doing so, you can actually search for the meeting room by keying here. So let's say you wish to go meeting room. And of course, all of this has been populated to a scenario. So let's say I want to go meeting room A, show route. For these portions, right, uh, the dotted, they will actually show you the, the actual location of you already here but for for some reason the page is still loading so nonetheless the concept for the Bravia Wayfinder is that to show you a location and show you how to route to your location by navigating through the floor plans so I will I think we will need to wait for a while it might be refreshing on this moment so anyway uh, for these portions we definitely understood the, the functionality of the Wayfinder so let me get you back to Joanne for the polling sessions. Hi everyone. So again, welcome back to the session. So I'm going to do a demonstration for the room booking, room status, as well as room control. So on the PIP portion, you can see that we actually have a tablet that's ready for room booking. So in this scenario, I'm going to do a mock-up of room booking and of course behind me you can see on the room status as the one shot uh, solution both the room has been occupied so one room has been occupied by Tios the other room else has been occupied by the CCS so in my scenario I'm actually going to occupy room A so to do demonstration all I need to do is just tap the card it will recognize the user next so by doing so you actually need to enter the agenda again why you actually need the room for so being said that, let me put a uh, BNI for this demonstration. So once I have defined the agenda, how long am I going to need the room for? So I'm going to mock it up for five minutes. So once you have done that successfully, it will prompt you that you, the meeting has been successfully created. So of course, uh, all of this will actually trigger in a way that the process, if you notice earlier, will be green, which is available. So red, of course, being said that it's occupied. So for the tablet portion, it's very straightforward. Again, for the Theos book, we actually have another device, which is smaller size, 3.5 for the desk booking. So for the feature of that particular device, we are going to showcase to you on the next um, section for sure. So stay tuned. While, while we actually bring it up to you. So again, let me run back your focus to our meeting room A. After the meeting room has been occupied, right, you also can actually have a look directly that the current meeting is 
hosted by BNI, the schedule timing. So going in depth, you can see that actually there are starts, you can actually force start the meeting, you can extend the meeting, or you can directly cancel the meeting, right? So for the meeting room A, behind me, again, it might take quite some time to refresh. Right now, it has been occupied, showing gray color. For the template here, rest assured, it can be customized. So let's say you don't like gray color, you want to be more flashy, you want to have red color, orange color, by all means, all of these can be customizable. That's the reason why we actually propose this solution for TOS for room booking. Assuming right now I wish to extend, you tap on it, if you notice, it has been extend. So for portion down here, uh, let me, there you have it. If you notice, it actually it extend over again. <laughs> so on the bottom right hand corner, we have uh, equipment on the room. So let's say the room that you're going to book, it actually shows you the equipments that are equipped within the room, right? So for the room booking, it's pretty straightforward. So right now you have done the room booking, you are in the room, you're going to do the room control. So let me switch the device. Let me switch the tablet device to room control. Right, so right now the device is running, uh, as you can see. Let me come back down here. So as you can see, the device is ready in the room control status. So I'm going to select the device. In our scenario right now, we are going to select Bravia Connect Meeting. Tap on it, you will see the e-interface. So if you look closely at the bottom left-hand corner of the Bravia, I'm going to do a remote control. You notice the volume? So I want to mute it or I can unmute, right? So I also can do input changes. So I want HDMI 2. Yep, so it can toggle input as well. You also can do home page, return page and stuff. So HDMI 1. There you have it, HDMI 1. So basically I have covered room booking, room status, as well as room control. So with that being said, I'm done for the session. I will drive you back to the polling. Hi everyone. So basically for this portion, we are going to touch up the previous uh, session follow up from the room booking. Right, so the room booking portion, if you notice earlier, actually I tapped the card, I actually booked the room. And for the room A, meeting room A, actually reflect down here. So this panel will actually act as a meeting room uh, interface. So I have a meeting room that has been booked by ide -san. The agenda will be B and I. So for these portions, right, this actually will be integrated directly for the meeting room's uh, solutions. And of course, for the meeting room portions, we are also going to share with you the PIP on the TOS Connect. So let me demonstrate to you. For TOS Connect portion, it's very straightforward. Uh, so let me start from the scratch. All you need to do right now is open up TOS Connect. And once you do so, uh, provided you are already in the same network range, then you can restore back the interface, drop down the list. So basically we have multiple devices that has been connected via the TOS uh, Connect before. So in this scenario, I'm actually going to use demo license. So once I do so, if you notice, the screen will actually flash the four-digit code, so 7069. So by doing so, I just enter 7069, tap on it, and that screen will actually be your TOS Connect uh, selection right now. So the advantage of having TOS Connect selections is that um, if we differentiate ourselves, we can actually do up to four streams. So by saying that you can do concurrently. So for our scenario right now, we are just gonna do three more. So I will say two more. One is laptop, which is here. So I have two devices, two handset with me. So I'm going to pass one back to my colleague, Tamtai Choi. So one for myself. So I'm going to do TOS Connect. So uh, if you can see, I'm just going to do directly right in front of you. Okay, so you can see down here that 
the selections drop down is within the range so i'm just going to select the same thing Bravia signage cast so it's going to prompt me the four digit codes again 6335 so 6335 start so on the right side it's going to do the screen casting there you have it right so basically for Theos connect is very straightforward uh, the reason why we promote this solution is that when you are in the meeting room you can actually share your materials across the board seamlessly rather than having to snatch for the panel your turn my turn his turn so we we'll rather have a more collective manner to do better collaboration right so in this case i'm going to push you back to polling sections Yeah, so for the main camp portions, right, uh, survey, I would say it's pretty straightforward because for survey portion, this is where um, the guest, the end user is going to collect the feedbacks from you. So the feedback portion relatively is very important because the VOC actually comes from the first layer of contact points. So to us, survey is very important as well. So this is the reason why we actually treat survey in a manner that is also part of the solution. So as you can see down here from the tablet portions, the survey actually comes in multi forms. So uh, in terms of feedback range, we can actually cater from five range to three range to single range. Meaning to say it's very customizable, <laughs> right? So the platform, again, we are working with is very feasible. Not only are we giving the user the benefit of doubts of customization or cascading to their organization needs. So in my situation right now, I'm just going to do a demonstration. Definitely excellent. <laughs> so once you do that, you're going to see a feedback retention on these um, uh, tablets. So for survey again it's very straightforward uh, so once we are done with survey actually i like to bring your attention to the alarm so if you focus um, on the alarm portion i'm going to actually going to switch the cam to uh, can we have this cam directly there cam three right so cam two cam three cam two cam three I'm going to do the alarm right now, CAM 2, CAM 3. Yes, correct. So, uh, allow me to bring out the survey tablets, right? The reason why is that actually I wanted to demonstrate the benefit of doubts for everyone to see what happens when we actually activate the alarms. So, I'm going to do the alarm activation now. So if you notice, right, once I activate the alarm, every panel within the organizations of the infra is going to switch to the alarm. So from a survey to the signage, and of course, uh, if you have a wayfinder, if you have a meeting rooms, everything will be affected. So this will actually turn every devices into a, a alarm status. So everyone will be aware of the situation they are in. So if it's a fire, it's hazardous. So everyone should be aware of that, that particular um, environment. Right. So in, with that, I'm actually going to bring you back to the polling. You are here in the new building of the uh, Dutch uh, Charity Lotteries. We've got a lot of stories to tell to our own people but also to our visitors. So we decided we wanted to have as many AV um, solutions as possible in very many different ways. We had a very, very basic uh, solution for updating uh, our colleagues. We have, of course, our internet and we had a ticker tape. And that was the only thing, only the update for the ticket tape was very, very difficult. So we ended up with Sony because we wanted so many different solutions, uh, internal solutions in our meeting rooms, um, in the public areas we wanted to inform people. We've got visitors coming in downstairs, we want to show films about our movie. So we wanted so many different solutions that we wanted a very simple solution, a workable solution. Uh, everybody has to be able to, uh, to be connected with the solution and we ended up with this Teos system. By the entrance we have separate content running on that screen just for our visitors and in the public spaces here in the office uh, we have different content, especially for our colleagues. 
I can create content for one part of the building and then create content for a different part of the building. TS Manage is very flexible for showing content on different screens. I make special groups, so one content is not displayed on all the screens. In our old office, we didn't have anything for presentations or whatever. And if we had a presentation, it has to be wired. And that was something that when we came here, we, uh, we said to each other, we don't want to have wires anymore. Everything has to be wireless. TS Connect is very simple to use. Very easy to learn. Everybody who's seen it once already do it on their own. So no extra training is necessary. Yes, we are happy, uh, <laughs> very happy, uh, because at the end it's a complete solution. So we are able to manage uh, with uh, TEALS Manage uh, all the different uh, uh, elements um, and they all use them and we can do remotely some services also. So when they have any questions, uh, we can help them remotely. Uh, based on uh, the TEALS management platform. So our goal was to have a, a new sustainable home for all our 600 employees uh, with technology that suits everybody, uh, convenient, modern, simple to use and, um, and flexible and uh, we got it so we're really happy. EADA is a business school located in Barcelona, Spain, very well ranked in the Financial Times ranking, and we got in touch with them a few years ago here at IEC. The EADA contacted us in the frame of their refurbishment project. Within this project, of course, new ways of teaching were very important. So we've developed customized, customized solutions for them. For example, we have a new class check-in solution that is available at the entrance of every classroom. This system also allows a new way of sharing information within the school. Globally speaking, Sony is really involved in the new ways of teaching in schools. From solutions like TEOS and the, the class check-in, digital signage to Ubicast and a rich media solutions to record the lectures, we, know, we also launched now new IP mics, edge analytics solutions to improve again the, the solutions that we bring at school for, for students. So Sony is a really a key actor involved in the higher education solutions. Si hablamos de Teos Book, pues por una parte buscábamos una solución de cartelería digital para las aulas, fácil de administrar, pero muy flexible y con la posibilidad de ser alimentada con contenidos dinámicos extraídos de nuestros sistemas de gestión. Por ejemplo, para informar de la clase en curso, de la siguiente clase en dicha aula, los próximos eventos institucionales, etc. El sistema tendría además que permitir la reserva de espacios de forma descentralizada y desatendida. Y por otra parte, en nuestro constante reto de transformación digital, buscábamos una manera de digitalizar el proceso de control de asistencia, simplificando la labor del profesorado y el personal administrativo. En lo referente a Teos Book y Teos Manage, encontramos una solución que ha satisfecho todas las necesidades que nos planteábamos inicialmente. No solo eso, sino que nos ha permitido ir más allá. Actualmente disponemos de una tablet interactiva a la entrada de cada aula en la que el participante hace check-in y recibe la bienvenida a la clase mediante su tarjeta de estudiante que incorpora tecnología contactless. El profesor y el personal de apoyo pueden comprobar in situ la lista de asistentes y verificar la asistencia digitalmente, gracias también a su tarjeta inteligente. Todos los datos de control de asistencia se sincronizan con el sistema de gestión académica automáticamente de forma que hemos eliminado la firma manuscrita de los participantes y el volcado manual de datos de asistencia. Todo ello se gobierna desde un sistema centralizado y bastante sencillo, en el que tenemos visibilidad sobre el estado de todos los equipos Teos Book y de otros proyectores y monitores Sony que estamos desplegando. Como expertos en audiovisual y sistemas tecnológicos, Nunsis ha instalado para este proyecto 38 tablets Sony de 10 pulgadas con el accesorio de sensor RFID y unas carcasas metálicas realizadas ad hoc con un diseño personalizado pareada para una mejor integración y seguridad de los dispositivos. Todos estos equipos son gestionados con Sony Teos Manage. Además, a medida que las necesidades evolucionen, dispone de la opción de añadir soluciones adicionales fácilmente. Teos es una solución totalmente escalable. En Sony entendemos que cada institución tiene sus propias necesidades y limitaciones, por lo que proporcionamos soluciones a medida para cada proyecto. De esta forma, hemos trabajado mano a mano con EADA y Nuncis. 
Right, so we have actually witnessed the case study. So right now I'm going to actually demonstrate to you our TIOS Manage. So for TIOS Manage portion, is, uh, I would say it's pretty straightforward. The reason is because uh, you're actually given a GUI to assess. So this is how the TIOS Manage actually looks like. So once you log in, right, actually on your left column, you will see the overview, the management, the administration, workplace solutions, schedule and so forth. So for this portion, let me actually touch up on uh, overview of the, the global uh, tab. So on the first tab, you are going to see a dashboard. So for dashboard portions, right, basically uh, you, you will have an overview of the devices that you have installed within the premises or within the organization or underneath the TIOS Manage. So for device status portion, you will see the, the average summary even for availability rates, the number of incidents that the device occur, the, the, the energy usage and what are the ROI, the value of it. So for the room status, actually we improvised uh, earlier on uh, for the room book. So this actually comes in who actually uses the room, uh, what are the average hours that, that the rooms are being occupied. So if you, if you uh, follow earlier on, just now I just did the, the, the mocking. So the room booking actually spike if you follow my cursor down here for the meeting room usage. <laughs> so this is actually one of the, the statistics that you can actually have uh, when you have the overview. So reception area, again the same thing, signage, uh, again everything uh, is in order. So for meeting statics, so meeting statics again this is uh, where uh, you can have a feedback uh, display directly on the meeting rooms. So this is the, the scenario where actually I share with you how you can make use of a meeting room with our TIOS Connect solutions. So for the second tab, server management. So server management, again, as the word saying, is more on the bare metal, the, the hardware of the solution. So you will have the names, the IP address, the space, the version of it. Then for our right-hand corner, or should I say the right column, you will see all of the information for the license. For site management, basically, uh, of course, you will also need to incorporate the site management in. The reason is because you need to define the layer of uh, hierarchical or layer of three levels that you are going to implant the solution on. So right, right now, we are going to be in a Sony organization, uh, PSAP, Strategy Building. We are now at level three and we, are, and we have a TIOS room as well. So level three, again, TIOS room, basically we are at strategy. So this you can actually have a um, uh, um, uh, full define of how you're going to lay the infrastructure. For the site configuration portion, uh, just now I also mentioned earlier that you can do alignment. So under level three, you have meeting room A, B, C, D, E, F. You have reception as well. So for administration portions, right, uh, if you notice, we actually have quite a, a lot of selections for AV devices. These are the devices that we actually have uh, been utilizing for this demonstration. So we have a tablet with us. We have the, the TV, which is our pronto box, <laughs> which you can't see it. Uh, Bravia signage, uh, which I also demonstrate to you using uh, this signage for our TIOS Connect. Then we have a projector. We also have our Bravia touch overlay. So for workspace solution, this is the, the, the tab where you can see all of our TIOS solution provided to you. So we have Wayfinder, Reception, Signage, Corporate TV, Video World Survey, and so forth and so forth. So basically, we actually cover everything about 95% of it. The rest of 5% will be due to lack of um, a constraint of area right now because um, I'm not sure most of you understand our PSAP limitation on the, the, the area that we are working on right now. So uh, we are actually planning to bring you up to speed for the second sessions that we are hoping to launch so by that time i think we are going to share with you our new hardware with you uh, so again say stay tuned for that so moving forward schedule and alarm so for uh for the schedule portion again as the tab say is scheduled so for action schedule this is uh, very different from your scheduling so this is what happens when you actually want to do maintenance of your 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 devices so you wish to do a maintenance only after office hours so you wish to do a firmware update but this firmware update you don't want to interfere the user so you can actually schedule the firmware updates to be done only after office hours so all of this can be done as and when how you schedule it 
So for the alarm portion, just now I actually show you the alarm. So you also can have your own customization of alarm, how you want the alarm to be and uh, when you actually trigger the alarm, what is the protocol to follow, what are the best practices to do and who will be the contact point, who will be the fire marshal. So all of this, again, we heavily emphasize that the platform for TOS is fully customizable. So for content creation, uh, this is where you actually do your own hands-on for your templates. So these templates can be applied on your, again, the alarm can apply on your TO survey, can apply on your TO's book. So all of this um, minor stuff, but when you go up into detail, you can actually do more creative manner. For media and data portion, again, this is for storage of your media. So let's say uh, actually I have a few media with me. Uh, so you can see which we try to have CNA cover in, we try to have volume cover in. So all of these uh, are, the, are the, the content. We actually try to play with our Theo's uh, uh, content creation as well because you can actually insert all of this within the Theo's platform. So with that, uh, Theo's Manage, I would say it's pretty straightforward. So once you have your device, you will definitely need to do a device setup. Once the device setup, assign the device to the license and that's it, TOS is good to go. So with that, uh, actually I will push you back to Lawrence. So thank you. So uh, with me, actually I have the, the the expertise, the professional from Mr. Tam here, as well as from Mr. Allen. So all of these guys are actually working hard day and night to actually get this performed. <laughs> so myself actually, um, you know, we work together as a team to get this over with, even though in the difficulty time in such situations. So we hope you actually um, uh, understood the situation for the presentation. If not, uh, again, feel free to contact us. And with that, uh, thank you all.